Hello, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. I do your reading daily, and I upload your videos right away. So these messages are current. In this reading, we are going to ask this question. Will your person return after a separation? Please bear in mind that this is a general reading, and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me. Will Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius separated person return? Okay. So far, it's saying yes, but we're, we're going to see more, okay? Yeah, they will return for sure because we've got these six of cups here as well. Yep, and also we've got the nine of cups in reverse. I feel like they're gonna return, but you might reject them though. Okay, some of you I would say 50 50 because we've got the two of swords here, so it could go either way. Um, but I'm sensing most likely they are gonna return because we've got these six of cups here, so they're gonna be thinking about you, they're, they're gonna be missing you, reminiscing all of the good times both of you shared with each other and they are going to return there's definitely a return card here i feel like with the magician the seven of swords and the king of swords the way they are going to return is very planned okay very strategized very very planned because the king of swords is a um, very strategic king it's actually your energy but rose can be reversed and we've got the seven of swords here it's your reading so i'm gonna I'm going to focus on that, okay? I'm just going to focus. I understand it's a general reading and that it could go vice versa, but I'm sensing. But we're, we're asking a very specific question right now, and I feel like they are. Uh, this is them, okay? They are going to strategize. And the Seven of Swords here also can indicate them strategizing, like being really sneaky. So the way they are going to return to you is going to be in a roundabout kind of way, manipulative, because we've got the magician here. So the magician, you know, sometimes I talk about the magician, how when, when you watch a magic show, right? Magician, they, they're not going to show you that they're hiding things under their jacket or in the trunk, whatever. <laughs> so that takes a lot of planning, right? So they are going to plan to manifest you back into their life. And the way they plan, I feel like... Uh, They'll quietly plan it. Really sneaky, very sneaky. This whole this row here with the King of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Magician. If if the roles are being reversed, I'm gonna tell you this: <laughs> Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Your person will return because if you've been strategizing, if you're the one who have been planning something, okay, because you want your person to return, your plan will be successful, okay, that's what I, well, that's what I can say right now, so this is the reversal that I'm seeing, uh, unless it could be them planning to return, but whatever the case is, six of cups right next to a major arcana with an upright position, it's definitely leaning towards a yes, they are going to return, because they love you, Queen of Cups here could be uh, your person could be a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio could be Fire Aries Sagittarius Leo can be any sign could also have your sign air signs because a lot of swords here Virgo strong Virgo Gemini okay let's see more you know what another thing I'm getting here. Your person will return, but somehow, again, I feel like the way they return to you or try to return to you, again, it's either them beating around the bush or it's just something that I feel is not going to be very open or very obvious, okay? But you will know, you will sense that, okay, this is their way of trying to return trying to return to you because they still want you right these two these two fire here with the knight of uh not of wands and the page of wands so the page of wands is a messenger so the they're gonna send you a message perhaps okay they're gonna send you a message but i feel like some of you are going to reject them because ace of cups here is well first you may decide to reject this person some of you at, at least 50 percent of you feels like you're gonna reject them 
we've got the Knight of Cups here in reverse, um, Sun in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Your person is going to return because they feel like they need you, they're very unhappy without you in their life, and maybe they have been very unlucky in love, they couldn't find somebody like you are. Because the Knight of Cups here is in reverse and Six of Pentacles in reverse. They may also be separating with um, someone else if they have somebody else. And after that, they are going to return or just they're unhappy with whoever they are with or unhappy with the other options that they may have. And we've got the High Priestess here, another Major Arcana and it's in an upright position. So this is definitely a yes. But I feel like, again, the High Priestess is such a quiet energy. So they're not going to make it super obvious. So they will give you some signs, hints, or that you may hear it from somebody that... They, they still want to know about you, they're still kind of like spying on you, wanting to know if, you know, how you're doing. So the way they try to return, it's not going to be obvious, that's for sure. And we've got the Ace of Wands here in reverse. Again, it feels like you're going to reject them because the way they return is kind of in a roundabout way. And I feel like it could also indicate them before they actually want to return. They will try and see if you're, if you're open to that through signs or through the way you, you know, maybe the way you reply to the message or whether you reply to the message or not. So they're just going to try and test the water first before they're going to full on like show you that they're going to return. That's what I'm getting here. For some of you, you may just slam the door in front of them or block them and just don't want to speak with them. But um, but for some of you, you might give them a chance because again, two swords, that means it could go either way, right? Let's see more. Well, I have to say that your person loves you and this is why they will return because the king of cups is in that right position. And of course, they're still attracted to you. They still want you. They still they think it is it is the right thing actually to return to you. They think it's the right thing to uh, speak with you, to open up communication with you, um, to apologize to you. They think it is the right thing to do. And we've got the Ten of Cups here and the Hierophant. Hmm. Another major arcana, so it is a yes. But also, it feels like um, your person will return after they've learned some lessons on their own, or after they've been given some advice from people they trust or people they respect and ten of cups is here too so they will return and they might offer you a commitment because uh, because the hierophant can indicate marriage they may talk to you about the future talk to you about reconciliation they they may or may not tell you how much they love you because the king of cups they like to suppress their feelings so again they're not going to make it super obvious how much they love you but i feel like they may tell you their plans or it just kind of feel like because the higher also can indicate structure right so they may lay out the plan whether it's on in their head or they're writing it down but i definitely sense that this is where they're leaning towards is to plan to return no matter what okay and they see a future with you ten of cups or wanting to have a future with you Right now, they are very heartbroken through the swords here. They cannot actually focus on their work or on their studies if they're still studying because they're going through a lot of pain. And we've got the Three of Pentacles here in reverse. Yeah, they may be missing work or just slacking off um, with the Hermit here. They may be at home alone because, you know, the Hermit is like a very lonely card. Uh, in the dark, they may not be eating or working, not concentrating. I feel like all, all they do is, you know, reflecting over what had happened or what they did in the past here. And I feel like through after that, after all of that, after all of that, and after they've learned from their lessons with the higher fund here, they will eventually return, right? So many court cards here. Hmm. Except for so many court cards, but there's only one feminine here with the Queen of Cups. Hmm, interesting. So, but whatever the case is, I feel like it's, uh, we're asking the question if your person is going to return. Most likely it is a yes, it's leaning towards a yes. But then again, it may take a while because the Hermit may need to take some time to think, to reflect, to learn from their lessons here with the Hierophant. 
then eventually when they gain some clarity to sorts here they will decide to return i feel like they'll go for it for sure they will send you a message page again it's a messenger a message of passion or love but again it feels like they're not gonna you know come in with like a huge gesture or anything i feel like they're just gonna kind of test test the water a little bit before they actually full on re um, plan to return that's what i'm getting here all right Gemini, libra and aquarius air signs this is your reading hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe and i want to say something i just opened up my comment boxes as you guys know i've always shut it but once in a while once every few months five months i will open it um because i need to check in with you guys every now and then and since i've made some changes to my channel as in i've been doing more collective readings i wanted to know if you guys uh resonate with my readings so i'm really happy that i think it's 100 percent of um, my subscribers um whom have told me and whom have commented commented that they they do resonate still with my readings obviously not going to resonate each and every time because you know it's a it's it's um a general reading but majority it's it's a yes so i'm really happy to hear that but also i've got very few one or two comments uh that <laughs> were angry they said i'm not gonna watch your videos unless it's a, a single horoscope video <laughs> but you know what i'm gonna tell you this i i follow so many tarot readers on um youtube and um, the readings that resonate with me the most, they are usually, um, what do you call, the collective readings. Usually, you know why? Because with collective readings, for example, you're an air sign, right? A Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So I already have a preconceived notion of who you are, your characters, you know, based on your signs. But when it is a collective reading, it's more open. It's open to any interpretation. Um, so I don't know why I always, whenever I watch any of these videos, uh, tarot, tarot videos, which I watch a lot, I always resonate the most with collective reading. So I thought I would do it as well. And also I have more time to do like single readings for certain, for certain um, signs that have, that support me the most, like have the highest views and most likes. And I'll do those readings like long, much longer, and I'll dive deeper into it according to my past, you know, past uh, videos. I will see and I know how many likes and, you know, how many views and I choose according to that. But anyway, this, this is just me. I just want to make changes and I don't want to stay the same each and every like for the rest of my life i love doing what i'm doing but i will always try to be a little bit more creative or do something different because else i don't see the point of me doing the same thing you know doing the same thing every single day and the same style so you see me making some changes every now and then and i understand there are people who don't like changes and i can understand too if anybody unsubscribes or dislike my videos I'm completely okay with it. Um, but what I don't understand is, you know, why do they have to get angry and write, you know, comment something that, you know, just try, like, kind of like threatening me, <laughs> giving me an ultimatum. I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm not going to watch it unless you do it. It's my, it's my channel. I'll do whatever I want. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. That's me cooking. <laughs> and see, this is what I, another change that I made for my second channel. I got a bit bored with doing the travel videos. And I thought, oh, I, I, want, I want to do some cooking. Because I get bored easily. I just want to like do something different. And that's it. And um, check it out if you want to. And also, I'll leave you with a uh, playlist on the screen. As usual, this playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you, for the rest of the signs. There's some bonus readings there as well, but for whichever signs I felt like I wanted to do. And those are the single ones, single horoscope uh, readings. Um, anyway, you can click on it, scroll all the way down, look for a sign. There could be some other important messages that you may have missed over there. 
And um, last but not least, I am open for personal readings if you'd like to book me. My information is in the description box below. Alright, take care.